Bitcoin is perfectly bouncing back towards the upside, but you should be watching this video within the next 24 hours because Bitcoin is headed for another weekend. So we need to be talking about that exactly. Do not miss this next Bitcoin move. So guys, can we once again push up the likes back above the 150 likes? That would be absolutely amazing. And as always, let's have a look in towards a short term. And yes, why all the stock market has been absolutely crashing back towards the downside right now reaching this level of support by the way well bitcoin has still been holding up quite well yesterday and has even bounced back towards the upside so yeah while the stock market right now is showing a lot of weakness well bitcoin is showing a lot of strength that is looking very good and definitely if the stock market is about to bounce from of this level over here well then bitcoin is going to be seeing an even bigger bounce in my opinion that is usually how the markets work anyway Anyways, Bitcoin has been exactly bouncing from of this level of support that has been looking very good right now still holding this level over here so yeah for Bitcoin still definitely in the short term the price action is looking very bullish and yesterday and today before well a lot of people have just been panicking about the Bitcoin price while Bitcoin has been dumping towards the downside but honestly we have been seeing this 28% pump towards the upside right now we are seeing a correction uh, we have seen this 7% correction and I have been saying yesterday and today before that um, this is only very healthy and that we need to be seeing consolidation that we need to be seeing a small correction and that that is just going to be very healthy for ultimately Bitcoin to be going even higher. So yeah, I hope that you have taken advantage of this dump yesterday that we have been seeing because right now Bitcoin is just back up and is looking better than ever before. Because if we are going to be having a look into this chart, we can be seeing something very interesting. And this is why you need to be paying attention in towards the coming 24 hours right now. Because usually, well, Bitcoin has been pumping towards the upside during the course of the weekend, or at least uh, the pump has been starting on the Friday. Like you can be seeing over here, the pump has exactly been starting on Friday. Just like right here, the pump has exactly been starting on Friday. Also right over here, the pump has exactly been, <laughs> yeah, beginning on the Friday. And yeah, right now, once again, the pump has exactly been starting on the Friday. And I do think that we are about to see some continuation. Well, if history, uh, history were to be repeated. So yeah, we are about to see a bullish weekend and a bullish fr uh, Friday if history were to be repeated. And definitely, in my opinion, that is going to be pretty likely because the charts are still looking very, very bullish. We are just playing out this hidden bullish divergence right now, seeing this insane, uh, very beautiful bounce. But definitely still continuation is going to be inevitable, in my opinion. We are getting this bullish breakout right over here that we have been having a look into it for a long time. We are still trading inside of this uptrend. Yeah, we have just tested a new higher low. Like we have been talking about yesterday and today before, well, we are still trading inside of this uptrend, still creating higher highs, higher lows, and this is probably just going to be another higher low. And yes, indeed, we have been bouncing. This is definitely looking very good. Right now, a new high is going to be next. And yeah, the Bitcoin funding rates are still very, very low. So that is looking very good, even on Bybit, below the 0.01% mark. So yeah, still the majority of the Bitcoin market is still trying to short, which, well, if the majority is trying to short, that is just adding more fuel and more liquidity towards the top side, which inevitably is going to be getting grabbed. So yeah, more fuel is just being added towards the top side. Another move towards the upside is just going to be inevitable. So yeah, looking very good. It is all playing out quite nicely. I'm just going to be keeping my Bitcoin trade open until at least these Bitcoin funding rates are going to be increasing back above the 0.01% level. At that moment, well, the majority uh, of the market is going to be getting greedy. And that is going to be the moment where I'm going to be taking my profits from off my, uh, from off my trade. But right now is definitely not going to be the time to be taking my profits. In my opinion, we are still going to be headed higher. Anyways, guys, if you are going to be getting interested in trading yourself as well, definitely make sure to check out that first link down below. Because if you sign up a new account over on Bybit, by the way, you can just use a new form of identity if you already have an account over on Bybit. So yeah, you can just sign up a new account, deposit at least $100, and there you go. You can be claiming a $500 US dollar trade on yeah, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Solana, and all of these 
other coins over here so definitely be sure to be checking this out anyways guys for that longer term for bitcoin it is looking so good i mean we've been creating this bull flag pattern the first try we have been retesting it once again we have seen a small little correction but right now bitcoin is coming back up and if we are going to be breaking above this level over here well we are just going to be confirming our breakout target sitting at that 100k level so that is going to be insane bitcoin has been consolidating inside of this range for about 140 days i think right now at this current moment it has already been like 150 days so yeah this in a bitcoin bull market well it is definitely looking very good it is definitely looking very bullish a bullish breakout is going to be inevitable anytime soon Anyways, for the altcoins, while the altcoins are still kind of lagging behind, right? The Bitcoin dominance is still increasing. And yes, I've been saying it each and every single time at all of these highs. Well, right now is going to be the time to be accumulating altcoins. And yes, still the Bitcoin dominance just keeps on rising higher and higher. So this is, of course, very bad for our altcoins. But I just know that inevitably, anytime soon, well, we are going to be seeing a huge crash. And whenever we are going to be getting this huge crash, well, in hindsight, it would have been a very good moment to be accumulating your altcoins right over here, right? Even if the Bitcoin dominance is going to be just increasing slightly a little bit in the short term well right now it's just going to be a very good moment to be dcaing in towards our altcoins because inevitably whenever this bitcoin dominance is going to be crashing i mean it is just going to be inevitable i do not know when it is going to be happening but eventually it is going to be imminent so in hindsight this would have been a very good range to be accumulating your altcoins at least that is what i am doing i am keeping my bitcoin trade open right now anyways guys with that being said make sure to be following me over on twitter to stay up to date about every single market development and guys i'll see you in another update video tomorrow morning